Your WCBI Sports with John Sokoloff is brought to you by your local Ford dealers. Go further. Number 12 Ole Miss visits number one Alabama on Saturday. Now to say there is history between head coaches Nick Saban and Lane Kiffin would be an understatement. You got to go back to 2009. That's the first time they squared off. Lane was at Tennessee. Then Kiffin was Saban's offensive coordinator at Bama for three seasons. And now the two coaches coached against each other last year. The two know each other real well, and when asked about the opponent this weekend heading into their third career battle, they had similar praise. I think they're even better. You know, I said last year was a great team, and I think people, you know, I said maybe his best team ever. And I think people think I was just saying that leading up to the game, but then you look and, you know, they run the table and not really close games. I think somebody said, you know, in the last two years, only Florida and Ole Miss have scored over 24 points against them. So, you know, and I think they're better on defense. Lane does a, an outstanding job with their offense. Uh, their overall team has improved in every category, uh, defense, special teams. Uh, they really are playing extremely well. Uh, this is one of the best offensive teams in the country, no doubt. The quarterback is a fantastic player, understands the offense well, does a great job of executing it. They've got really good running backs. They've got lots of speed. Kickoff is Saturday at 2.30 right here on WCBI. We'll have you fully covered with highlights and a full recap from Tuscaloosa. You won't want to miss that. But Mississippi State football will look to end its two-game skid on Saturday when the Bulldogs visit Texas A&M. The Aggies are coming off a 20-10 loss to Arkansas, but they still present a very tough test for Mike Leach's bunts. Jimbo Fisher's team dropped from number seven in the country to number 15. Mississippi State isn't taking them lightly, and here's Leach on the Aggies' front seven. The looks are nothing really that special. Their personnel is they um, they played a lot. You know they're they're all seniors and they uh, they're all seniors and they're good players. So they're experienced and they're you know just quality players. Kickoff Saturday at six. You can watch the game on the SEC Network. And week six of end zone just a few days away, and we've got our game of the week, and it's set up to be a classic. The Tupelo Golden Wave. Visiting the Oxford Chargers, Chris Bolton is going to be live from Oxford at 5 and 6, previewing the matchup. You can hear from both head coaches here on WCBI Wednesday evening, previewing it, and then Friday after the game, and we'll have full highlights as well on Endzone at 10 o'clock on WCBI and 11 on the CW. Tupelo, 5 and 0, they're playing some really good football this year, is Ty Harden's crew, and while the Chargers are 3 and 2, and just bounce back by defeating Murrah 38 0. That'll be a fun one. And this week's Lineman of the Week honors go to the Oak Hill Academy Raiders. A very impressive few weeks for Bill Rosenthal's bunch. They defeated Lee Academy on September 17th, took down Kirk Academy 24-13. This past week, they cleaned up a lot on defense, only allowing 15 points per contest the past two games. Their defensive line playing a big role in that. They hit the road again this Friday when they take on North Delta. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. WCBI's Lineman of the Week with Oak Hill Academy. He's brought to you by Four County Electric Power Association. 